Here is an easy and fun dessert trick that you and your family must try this summer. All you need is one box of white cake mix and you are going to mix that with six eggs rather than what's recommended on the box. Separate the cake batter into three separate bowls and in one bowl you're going to mix the batter with red food dye and another bowl you will mix with blue food dye. Don't do anything to the third. Then you will put all three batters into separate piping bags, grab a baking sheet, and create red, white, and blue stripes just like I am on the pan. Now here is where it's going to get really interesting. All right, our stripes are looking beautiful. Now we're just gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees just for about like five minutes. You wanna keep your eye on this because this does cook super fast. It's a smaller cake than usual. In it goes. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. I am so excited to share with you guys what we're going to do with this. Oh my goodness. Okay, but first, we need to pop this baby out. So, you want to be careful. So, I'm just going to go around the edges. Make sure it is not stuck. It is very important that you use parchment paper for this because it will stick to the pan. All right, looks like we're good on that back side. It's just... Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is my favorite kind of cake. It's not your average cake, but it is so fun. It's filled with so much surprise. All of your guests will love this. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and pop this out. It's important to do that because of what we're going to do with this after we put our toppings on. So let's just go ahead and lay that there. Oh. It's even cuter off of the pan. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and start with our toppings. So we're gonna use some whipped cream cheese. I love cream cheese. I love it more than using frosting because it's not too sweet, but with what we're gonna pair it with, it will just be the right amount of sweet. It's going to be so good. So we're gonna use this whole container just plopping that right on top. Woo. This is just going to be so fun. This is so easy to do. It looks super fancy. It looks like, you know, professional bakers that would do this, but it's really not that hard. You don't need skills with it. You just gotta follow the steps and you're good to go. I am almost done here. You wanna be very careful not to break apart that cake so spread delicately. Now I'm just going to kind of even out the edges and then we're going to go ahead and move on to our final topping. That's all you need, two toppings. This is a very cheap dessert, very affordable because you only need one box of cake mix, your food coloring, and then whatever toppings you want to do. You could do Cool Whip, frosting, here we're doing the cream cheese. And on top of the cream cheese, we are going to do some strawberry jelly. Mm -mm -mm. You could even use strawberry pie filling if you want. I did that for my Christmas cake, which is also super good, but I wanted to switch it up because I love a good jam. All right, just plop that on there. Oh, how beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna add little bits as I go because we don't wanna make the filling too much because then what we're going to do with this is not going to work. So you want to be very careful to make it nice and thin so it's easier on you. Okay, I think we could fit just a little bit more. All right. Oh, this smells really good. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful. This is looking so great. Okay, just going to even out that cream cheese. And then we are on to the best part about this. All right, yummy, great. Okay, we are done with that. Now, this is not your average cake, like I said. This is what they call a Swiss cake roll. So we're gonna roll this up, so that way we have this fun filling inside, but also those beautiful stripes. It's such a nice surprise. So let's go ahead and start rolling. So you wanna be very careful with this part. Some people like to use the parchment as they roll, but I feel like that's just an extra step. When I did this last time, I didn't do that, so I'm just gonna kind of gently peel off as I roll. Here we go. Okay. We 
know what? It looks like we're going to use the parchment. I'm getting a little nervous. I don't want this baby to fall apart. Okay. Then roll again. Oh my gosh. So fun. So fun. Okay. And one final roll. It's okay if some of the toppings spill out a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, before I unleash that, I'm gonna get my platter. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that right there. Make this easy for transfer. Ooh, this is so exciting, you guys. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful it is. Wow. Oh my gosh, okay. We're not done yet. We have to make this top look awesome, even though it already looks super awesome. I mean, check out those stripes. Okay, so we are gonna start off with some red icing. I'm just gonna do a nice, fun drizzle just to go over those stripes. Everyone loves actual frosting. We can't just have cream cheese with this, but you can if you want. Now, we're gonna do white, because we got the Red, white, and blue happening here. And just kind of contrast with that red going in between. Oh, so cute. Okay. And then finally, of course, we've got the blue frosting. So I'm using cookie icing. I think that is very easy to work with when you're doing just little drizzles like this. Oh, how cute. This is so fun. Okay, and one final thing, you guys know me, Sparking Alley, I've always gotta have it when I can, and that is sprinkles, especially festive sprinkles. So, let's go ahead and, woo, look at that. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Wow, and there you have it. Your perfect 4th of July, patriotic, summer, whatever you want to use this for, Swiss roll cake that is perfect for you. Okay, now let's cut into this and go ahead and see what this baby looks like. Ooh. And now, what moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, wow. Whoops, looks like I didn't cut all the way through. That's okay. You guys might be better at cutting than me, but yummy. Look at all that goodness oozing out. Yay. Enjoy.